Greetings, this is Daniel Tall from Placemaker and I'm going to demonstrate one of the capabilities that we use with Placemaker on all our projects at our office where we import in the data into SketchUp and then we convert that data as a usable AutoCAD or CAD 2D base. The advantage there is normally you wouldn't have that kind of base information for many projects. And this gives us the opportunity to create a base file that we can then really easily use for design or whatever else before we get a survey, which could be weeks or sometimes even months or not at all. In this case, I'm pulling in a map of data for Estes Park, Colorado, and I'm showing all the data that I've just brought in, which is the high-res aerial, a terrain map, and then the next part I will have is all the roads, buildings, and infrastructure in. And I will demonstrate how you can reverse engineer this, so to speak, and create a CAD file that you can then export to CAD that has all this information in it. I'm going to methodically break down this conversion process of this placemaker 3D data. This includes the terrain which I have turned off here. I'm going to use the tag system or the layers in SketchUp and when you import in information from Placemaker everything's placed on a tag. So I'm going to turn off the PM dash location and that will turn off the aerial information and I'm going to actually put this in a camera parallel projection and hit the plan view and zoom out. And I'm going to have all these view buttons. I'm going to put this in wireframe and you can see the beginnings of what really amounts to is all these essentially cat information. And we're going to extract this and bring this into as a DWG. And show you that process in detail. So first and foremost, again, I have the aerial turned on. We're going to turn that off. And I'm going to start with the roads. And everything is not just on a tag. It's also all grouped. In this case, I'm going to go into the group for the roads. You can see right there. I'm going to select all of this, and I need to explode it. The reason why is because I, when Placemaker imports in roads, we automatically hide all these edges. And we actually want to unhide them so we can export them back out to CAD. In order to do that, we have to select all of them and explode them. And that'll take a second or two. And then immediately after that, all we want to do is zoom in and do unhide. And now we have a road network. And again, I like the styles menu up here. You have a right click on uh, in SketchUp over the toolbar menus. If you go to styles, it'll open up this particular menu, which allows you to then see this road network. So there's the first one. Let's keep going. So the roads are the only element that need to have their edges unhidden and really adjusted. And it's also worth noting, I'm going to click on the Styles menu here. And if you ever need this menu, the Styles menu, just right click over any part of the menu toolbars in SketchUp and you can go to Styles. And it controls the views in your model in terms of surface or edges or textures. I'm going to click on the wireframe. I'm going to zoom in here. And notice that if I go to road center lines, road lines, or center lines, for many of us in the urban design world, having we're used to very much using road center lines. But we got the, essentially, the roads are the only ones that need to be selected, exploded, and then hidden, unhidden. And the rest of the information that we have here, which is buildings and even water, and sometimes on occasion you'll have railroads, is all ready to go for this next step. And for this next step, we're going to generate contours. 
To generate the contours, we need to use a, an extension for this process. This one's available at Sketch Education, which you can see here. And you can register here for free, and you can download this contour maker for free. There are two versions of this kind of contour maker, which I'm going to demonstrate one of them. But just so you know, you go to Sketch Education, you can type in Sketch Education Contour Maker. It's by TIG, and you can install that into SketchUp and use it. And the way that works, I'm going to turn the terrain back on. I'll turn the hidden geometry off. And you can see all the information here is floating because I'm just going to bring this into CAD. I'm not worried about the elevation here entirely. I'm going to go to Extensions, Contours, and I'm going to set 5-foot contour spacings for this terrain. And just to indicate, this isn't an accurate base file. This is using pretty much the information that Placemaker has available, which is OpenStreetMap or Cesium Terrain. So the level of detail and accuracy is really variable, but it does give you the opportunity to start creating these kind of base files information that you can then use as a place to start doing your site design and other particular work. And you can see that the contours were completed. And again, I'm going to put this in camera parallel projection. And then I have my views menu here. Again, views using this menu right here for views to set this to the top view. And again, I'm going to turn off everything. And there you really have it. I have a, a pretty interesting base file here that I can then take into um, SketchUp, uh, into AutoCAD. And one of the th so let's get this ready for AutoCAD. And again, I'm going to set my view to parallel projection and then make sure that under views this is at the top. And that's important to get this correctly into a 2D aspect in CAD. Then I'm going to go to File, Export, 3D model. I'm going to select um, the options here. I have this selected to export AutoCAD DWG file. I'm going to click on options. And I'm just going to make sure that the only thing is exported is the edges. No faces, no dimensions, nothing else, no materials. I'll set this to AutoCAD 2018. I'll hit OK, and I will export this out. I've opened up that exported DWG in AutoCAD. You can see all, I have the layers open. I just had to double click it, it was just a simple, there it is, there's the DWG format that was exported from SketchUp. Now I'm going to select all of this, all the line work, and up here I'm going to make sure that all the edges and line work are done by layer. And then I can actually go in here and adjust all these based off more traditional CAD colors. We'll make that one darker. And there you have the CAD file that was created in Placemaker. Um, so it's a very neat and interesting conversion process that we've been using effectively for many of our projects at this point um, and very useful in terms of being able to generate information and ideas. It's been very effective in terms of especially getting information to everybody up front, which might take a little bit of time. So that's the process. We went from this SketchUp file in here. There's another example, sorry. But from this SketchUp file, and we're able to generate this very useful CAD base. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching the video.